In this video, we're going to talk about the lavish life of Saudi Prince Al-Walid bin Talal. Before starting, please do like the video and subscribe to The Luxury Lord for future updates. Because Prince Al-Walid bin Talal is one of the wealthiest members of the royal Saudi family, Time magazine included him among the Time 100 list of the 100 most powerful people in the world in 2008. This biography aims to shed light on Al-Walid's life. We'll talk about his early years, his relationship with the Saudi Arabian king, his appreciation of Western culture, and his early success. Early life. On March 7, 1955, he was born in Jeddah into the family of Prince Talal, a prominent and powerful member of the royal family. Saudi Arabia's first king, Abdul Aziz Ibn Saud, was his grandfather. The first prime minister of Lebanon, Riyad al Saul, was the father of Mona al Saul. He was so surrounded by relatives who were in charge of two extremely significant Middle Eastern nations. Education. He moved to Lebanon with his mother after his parents got divorced, where he resided and finished his primary education. After attending military school in Rayada, he moved to the U.S. to finish his business administration degree at Menlo College. His studies were resumed, and in 1985, Syracuse University awarded him a master's degree richest person. He is currently one of the wealthiest persons on the planet. In 2015, Forbes rated him as the 34th richest person with an estimated value of $22.6 billion. However, Talal asserts that his actual wealth is $32 million. A Forbes reporter was invited to travel with him for a week in 2009, and while there, he hosted the reporter in his 420-room mansion in Riyadh. Afterwards, they flew aboard his own Boeing 747 towards Cairo. Business. He is currently one of the wealthiest business people in the Middle East, owning shares in Twitter, Apple, Citigroup, Time Warner, the Savoy Hotel in London, and Canary Wharf. The largest entertainment enterprise in the Arab world is his Rotana Group. Al-Walid's assertion that he acquired all of this through his own skills is even more astounding. Prince al Bin Bintalal claims that his father only left him with a property, a $300,000 debt, and a $30,000 endowment. Life's Style. He often tries to portray his luxury lifestyle, which he leads. He never keeps his personal life a secret from the media, unlike many other royal family members. In 2011, he and his wife, Amira, were spotted at Kate Middleton and Prince William's royal nuptials. The fact that his wife was dressed in Western attire as opposed to the modest Muslim attire that was more popular in the Arab world drew greater attention. As was previously established, he also owns a bow. 747. Also, he's the owner of a super yacht, the 65th largest in the world. James Bond utilized it in the film, and after Trump bought it, he sold it to Prince Walid because of financial issues. The Arabian Warren Buffett. The prince has frequently been compared to the nearly omniscient Warren Buffett because of his impressive performance at the investment table. Al-Walid built his portfolio from virtually nothing just like Buffett. Although the prince is the grandson of Ibn Saud, the country's founder, none of his enormous riches has come from his inheritance or Saudi Arabia's oil revenues. Prince Al-Walid bin Talal's life was trotting along quite nicely until last week. Instead, Al-Walid built his money by buying large portions of companies like Apple, Citigroup, ride-hailing company Lyft, Disney, and Twitter at precisely the right times when their fortunes were dipping. The Prince and Bill Gates jointly operate the Four Seasons Hotel chain, which includes the famed George V Hotel in Paris. The Savoy, the most renowned hotel in London, is solely owned by him, along with owning sizable investments in Twitter and News Corp. The Prince also shares ownership of the Four Seasons Hotel chain with Bill Gates and is the sole proprietor of the Savoy, London's most renowned hotel. He is reportedly the 45th richest person on the planet with an estimated net worth of $17 billion or £13 billion. Pounds. Prince Al-Walid stated to The Telegraph in 2013, I have so many wonderful deals, but I also have some bad deals, and that, quite frankly, makes me learn from them. Thus, we don't act haughtily or assert that everything is good. Similar to having siblings, you love them all equally, but some act appropriately while others don't. 
the jet setter. With the help of his three palaces, numerous aircraft, including a personal Boeing 747 and the Kingdom 5KR yacht, which was originally built for Saudi arms dealer Adnan Khashoggi and is thought to be worth $20 million, Al-Walid has been able to live somewhat of a jet set lifestyle thanks to his shrewd investments. The new Kingdom 5KR, which has the creativity called successor to the Kingdom 5KR and will measure approximately 173 meters in length and cost over $500 million, was intended to replace the former. The yacht was created by Lindsay Design and the initial sketches were made in 2010. Yet, since then, almost little has been said about the enormous super yacht project. Al-Walid's three opulent mansions stand at the center of his mighty realm. His main house is the 250,000 square foot Kingdom Palace in the heart of Riyadh. The Kingdom Palace, which is estimated to be worth $130 million, has 317 rooms with Italian marble or Oriental silk, gold-plated fixtures, and more than 250 televisions. The prince's foreign entourage is catered to by four professional-grade kitchens that provide Arabic, European, and Asian cuisines, while a fifth is completely dedicated to desserts and confections. At a moment's notice, the cooks are reportedly capable of feeding up to 2,000 guests. A large subterranean theater is located above a faux lagoon pool in the garden. The Kingdom Resort, which is close by and occupies a sizable 500,000 square feet, is the big brother of the palace. It has three lakes and numerous themed gardens. The four million square foot Kingdom Oasis, which is now being built, is claimed to feature a private zoo and a sizable artificial lake. However, all of these are insignificant in comparison with the existing system. It is doubtful that the project will be completed. The prince spent 558 8,000 pounds on a week-long vacation in the Aegean Resort of Bodrum this summer. Al-Walid's private jet brought more than 300 luggage, and he also flew 30 bicycles into the coastal town to fulfill his passion for riding. The prince spent the majority of his time aboard his Kingdom 5KR yacht, despite renting a full beachfront hotel and many cottages. When he finally reached land, he went shopping. Al-Walid tipped 4,459 pounds at the Nusseret Steak Restaurant while accruing an $8,919 tab at a modest fish restaurant. This was one of Prince's least busy weeks in three decades of living at the top of the worldwide jet set. The philanthropist, yet Prince Al-Walid has a much bigger, deeper goal away from his boats in the mansions. Al-Walid is a very generous man, and a large portion of his humanitarian work focuses on initiatives that aim to close the gap between the Western and Islamic worlds through education. For instance, following the September 11th attacks, he gave $10 million to Rudy Giuliani, the mayor of New York. Giuliani later rejected the money. This summer, while on vacation, the prince spent £558,000 during the course of a week-long vacation. The Saudi Arabian female emancipation movement is Al-Walid's main cause. He stated he is in full support of Saudi ladies working in all sectors and has been a strong supporter of the program that trained the nation's first female commercial airline pilot. The prince declared in 2015 that he'll be starting to donate all of his wealth to charity over the ensuing years. An umbrella organization called Al-Walid Philanthropies, which works in the fields of intercultural understanding, will serve as the primary vehicle for this purpose. Its declared goals are to empower women in the nation, remove sickness from the area, create orphanages, and schools and promote health. But if it's determined that any of his assets were obtained by corruption or were connected to his recent detention, the Saudi government may decide to seize them all. This implies that not only will significant portions of Apple, Disney, and other companies fall under Saudi state ownership, not to mention the entire Savoy Hotel in London, but also that the money supporting his admirable equality initiatives throughout the area may be siphoned off. Net worth information. 95% of Kingdom Holding is owned by Prince Al-Walid, who has investments in private equity, media equities, and various types of real estate. al Saud is the owner of a magnificent palace with 420 rooms, in addition to other homes and the top three floors of Kingdom Tower. His properties are worth around $4.5 billion in total. Al-Walid owns 
1.5% of Rotana, a television network with a market capitalization of more than a billion dollars. Also, he controls more than 30 million shares of Twitter. So what do you think about this video? Let us know in the comment box below, and please do like the video and subscribe to The Luxury Lord for our future updates.